Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Alrighty, welcome back. We are recording. Yo, yo. 20, what? It's going to be the 23rd when we drop it. 9, 22, 22 when we're recording. That's cute. Yeah, it's um, 22, 22. Big up, big up, people. Um, where do I even want to start with this? <laughs> Yeah, you came in hot at once. Like, you ain't got shit to say. How y'all doing, people? Hope y'all as well, if y'all listening to this. I love how you be asking them how they're doing, like, they can respond to us. Yeah, but, I mean, you feel me? It's going to be like, when they listen to it, they'll be like, you know what, Kat, I'm all right. <laughs> and I ain't got to hear it, but they know I'm checking in. Like, yeah, straight. That's true, all. true, true, <laughs> true. Because I know my ass be talking back to the podcast. Like, exactly. I can hear it, so. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... On a not so great note, uh, tomorrow is the one year anniversary of the passing of. Oh. Damn. Can... Where we go- where we going? Maya. DJ Turner. Oh, Vibes. home girl. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You have me um, after that. No. <laughs> you must be like, damn, who dead? No, no. I was just like, who? <laughs> Girl, listen, my bad. You still got me on like grief the last episode. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 But, (laughs) woo. Um, For those who aren't aware, Maya was found in her apartment. Um, She was killed by her, the maintenance man at the complex that she lived in in Orlando. Um, Mm -hmm. There has since been a law passed regarding, you know, background checks i guess for maintenance men which i just feel like y'all do background checks for me to go work in any goddamn job but the maintenance man doesn't get a background check i don't know whatever also limiting access to like who has access to individual residence apartments i don't think that is a um nationwide thing though i think that's just in orlando <laughs> but that's um the wildest state ever yeah and it's also based on like apartment complexes also because some complexes like require your authorization before entrance and some are like hey we can come into shit whenever wherever just tie up your dog if anything but yeah so that's that um mm-hmm. r.i.p to her and all that yeah Hope they're doing a day of Yes, they're doing a day of remembrance. Um, Well, this is dropping tomorrow. So today, Friday, September 23rd, they're doing a day of remembrance in honor of her. Um, Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It says outside. Is that where she lived? Andrew Arden Villas? Nah, so I feel like, what what we, man, I feel like we've been talking about death, people dying left and right, all this stuff. I'm tired. (laughs) I'm okay. Like, I'm good. Yeah. On all of this, what else is going on? No shade or nothing. Not even I feel shade. you. Listen, me, <laughs> and, you know, because I guess the people, obviously, I don't know. I've been there with a lot in my family and a lot of shit going on, so I'm I'm tired. I'm not tired. Yeah. Um. On a lighter note. Yes. Very light. I want that Brita. <laughs> you want the Brita because you're going to try to do that thing. Okay. okay. <laughs> That is very interesting Explaining. to me. You over here talking to breeder. I breeder. know. What you want to breed it for? <laughs> Not for no pipe water, but um, there's this TikTok of this guy. I guess it's a thing other people have done, and he tried it out. Of course. Oh damn it! I was talking about a black man with the with the breeder, 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 breeder. How the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about. Oh, I thought you were about to say nah. Yeah, the man with. The- <laughs> so yeah, um, the tick the TikTok that I saw, he was trying out this trend where you pour liquor into a Brita and it's supposed to remove the flavor. Is of it a Brita? A Brita? No, 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 no. I'm Jamaican as hell. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Brita, Brita, Brita. I, no, no. It's B-R-I-T-A. Y'all know the little water filter jug shit. That's what be, it is. It could be Brita. For all we know. Et cetera. <laughs> the wrong <laughs> emphasis on the wrong word. syllable. Who knows? But, um, but yeah, so he poured, um, was it Hennessy in there one time? And then he did some tequila. Apparently it removes the taste pretty much damn 75% or more, depending on the alcohol, but the alcohol content is still there. I was like, for the people who don't like the taste of alcohol, if you go on TikTok, you just got to search it and you'll see a whole bunch of people doing it too. Yeah, it is. 
that's dangerous. <laughs> mm. I, yeah, Tastes like it, juice. It can be because it'll catch on and then it won't. Mm-hmm. It's, it'll be one of those things. Like it'll be like, oh, it's about to be lit. We doing this and then it won't, or it will. And I'll yeah. Probably but um, anyways, on the and topic of host, and you're like, oh, bitch. For real, let's try this. But um, it's the way Mercury retrograde is trying to ruin my equipment because why? Why did it take that long for us to get here? <laughs> um, and I, you know, it's funny. Before we even got on, I did everything that I usually do to make sure that it sounds good. I restarted the computer. I did, you know, power off, power on. Did everything because usually, for some reason, I always have to power it off to get everything going. Still mm. nothing. And I'm just like, you know, <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's the stars and the moons and the planets and things or whatever. All that shit. Yeah. Um, for those All who don't that. know or who probably aren't up to it, um, we are in like a six planet record retrograde right now. <laughs> like six. What that mean to the people that six whole like, ass planets are in retrograde <laughs> um <laughs> well this retrograde is basically focusing on like get your shit together because um there's a lot of reflection you know like a lot of i don't want to say nostalgic but like recurring feelings patterns emotions situations um it might be a lot of like deja vu type moments like oh my god this happened before or i felt this before or this is familiar um it's just a time to reflect and you know address shit that niggas been running away from so for some people retrograde is kicking your ass so for some people it's like oh my god this is great second chance i'm doing the shit that i was supposed to be doing from when and shit's going amazing so it all depends on how you approach life but you know do what your shit however you see fit <laughs> hey that rhymed um mm, no. but <laughs> i'll put that on a shirt <laughs> mm, mm, um, but yeah um it also tired so you said you've been tired i was tired and a little achy yeah tired and achy little headache little back pain little mm. That have you been me. stretching friend that was another, that just could be me stretching, <laughs> on the planet you know, so. yeah it could literally be any <laughs> whatever i'm just noticing that they all three wanted to kick up this week a little bit so it's giving vibes oh uh, you feel um, me? like it's the planet i don't care anyway okay sure <laughs> but also um the planets that are in retrograde could also um affect like what part like what house that planet is for you or whatever mm-hmm. so like those yeah. placements and stuff like that so, so it could be couldn't it? i know so it could be like if we want to look into it it exactly. could be like what rules yeah. like you know your motivation to physically exercise or whatever mm-hmm. the case is and stretch so you never know like i personally feel like it's good to know stuff like this so you know what the fuck is going on with yourself because i'd be worried about dumb shit so that's really the reason why i'd be like who what's going on with the planets <laughs> what's the moon doing right now because baby <laughs> water signs that some years ago no one was really concerned with what the fuck the moons were doing mm-hmm. and now everybody cares about what the moons are doing but some years yeah. ago you'd be like the who girl this girl over here talking about the moon and the stars and they yeah. would have called you crazy mm-hmm. and they would have called you weird and all types of different Which? shit now everybody <laughs> talking about crystals moon stars and all that shit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like life got a little crazier and everybody was looking for different things to believe in. But that's yes, it. different ways to cope with shit also. Different shit, a different mm-hmm. way to, yeah. So. Funny you just said that. Someone sent me a video earlier today um, and it was saying in, oh my God, it's the question, it was two people talking and the guy asked um, the other person the question, um, how many genders are there? How many genders do you believe there are? Right? Mm. And yeah, and the person's response was in 5,000 years or how, whatever the time span was, they said, when archaeologists dig up our bodies, there's only going to be two genders to identify. It's either man or woman. So I'm going to say there's two. Hmm. Now, a part of me is kind of like, yeah, that's true. But then the other part of me that's present is like um, the information that we have available to us now is going to be more normalized in the future because it's now currently being introduced to us that hey you might be gender fluid you might Mm -hmm. be you know i'm saying non-binary etc so i be me personally i believe that if whenever they decide to dig us up 
it's going to be identified as this is a human being. I don't think they're going to be like so concerned on like the gender constraints Dig of us it. Up. Supposedly. Because they talk about digging up digging people. Up. See, this is why nobody ain't digging me up. It's called a good old, listen, Cremation. don't a thing. Let them turn that oven on a bitch and let me go. Burn. Let, okay. Burn. Scatter me like some fucking breadcrumbs. Okay. I ain't got time for this shit. I don't digging me up. No. Exactly. I'm not a time capsule, my nigga. What the fuck? Exactly. I'm not with the with the burial thing either. Don't bury me nowhere. <laughs> but <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah, so that's that was my take on it because I'm like, in the future, it's not like they're gonna lose the knowledge of, you know what I'm saying, the gender conformities, et cetera, and like the spectrum of gender. So it's like that was a dumb question, in my opinion, because it's like, are you trying to stir shit up? Are you trying to be cute? Uh, like, or trying to just gauge what the hell people are thinking? Yeah, but you I just thought like that you kind of can gauge where a person is and what their thought process is and how they are mm-hmm. and if they're like, you know. Yeah. Um. Oh, so. No oh, shit. No, 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 not no oh, shit. <laughs> um. I'm trying to find the um thing so I can read it. Um, about Kim and the other trans women that have fled Jamaica because okay. of their safety or the lack thereof. Uh, have seeked asylum. Yes. They um fled to Mexico. Mm-hmm. And then you want to explain it a little better or no? Yeah, I'm trying to find the actual. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm, I'm like, they probably like, who? Can I'm talking to. I love. <laughs> um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Equality, J A, J Flag, etc., Kim, that's K Y Y M, um, was an advocate, um, was affiliated with them and was working, you know, to bring awareness to trans people in Jamaica, LGBT, et cetera, all across the board. Um, I'm trying to find the article, um, the post about who it was that passed away, but someone was killed and there are someone trans, a trans woman. woman. Yes. A trans woman in Jamaica. Um, so four other trans women fled Jamaica as a result of this because they feared their safety. Um, where is it? Okay. So, a friend of theirs or someone they know, an affiliate, is raising funds on behalf of them. It's Kim, Imani, MX, and Dominique. No, Danique? Danique, sorry. Danique and Aiden, who, after a lifetime of challenges in Jamaica, fled their country to the United States. Thankfully, they were able to get through Mexico. They ended up in San Diego. And I'm not sure if they made it to New York yet, but they... And you said they went from Jamaica to Mexico? Yes. How did they get to Mexico? Mino Nuena? How they get to Mexico? I have no idea how they reach uh, Mexico. Interesting. I have okay. no idea. Not that it's a problem or anything. I'm just curious because they went from Jamaica to Mexico, then to mm-hmm. like Cali. So how mm-hmm. did you get to Mexico from Jamaica? Like it ain't like you said. Oh, they got to Florida. They got to Mexico. Yeah. It was probably easier to get into Mexico. So I'm not. I'm not saying it wouldn't. Which one is easier or not? Because obviously that one would be easier than Florida. But it's like. Yeah. As far as like closeness, you went pee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah. But they probably knew somebody in Mexico who could get That's them. What I'm in saying, or yeah, whatever. Kind of cargo ship. I don't know what's going who, on. Uh, that part. Um. So yeah, they were all activist organizers. Ag- organizers. Wow, I can't talk. Oh. And uh, um. Artivists in Jamaica creating space for the rights of trans, trans um, gender nonconforming, and non-binary folks. Um, so that's saying Jamaica does not like. Listen, you thought they ain't like gays, bro? Yeah, you thought Jamaicans are not like gays. They do not care for the trans community because I see yeah. some of the comments that be up under the Gleaner mm-hmm. posts and the Observer posts and the way they be flaming these trans people. Yo, yeah. yeah. With no shame, like they are doing this from their actual accounts. It's like they're not even trying to well, make fake pages to make the Jamaica comments. Care about anything? People exactly. In care about, care about law. I, I'm problem. Yeah. yeah. I got with them chest. And in a business, I will work. So yeah. So it's five of them in total. Actually, I I said four. There was well, only four of them, of them. from Jamaica. Go um, yeah. Next um mm-hmm. Cali. Mm-hmm. Shit. 
Oh, yeah, I thought it was four because it's four of them in the picture for the GoFundMe, but it's five of them in to total. Like a house or something, girl. Yeah, so that's what the GoFundMe is for. Um, You're gonna start a house. Well, it's housing support. They're looking for I'm housing support. Like I know, house. I know, okay. I know. Probably they're trying to go support, to New York. Support wise, yeah, if they're trying to go to New York. They can definitely. Yes, a what start? And they have like someone. Good- <laughs> they have someone in New York that's helping them, like to receive the funds and everything. There's like a okay. cash app and a GoFundMe that they're managing. Cause gotcha. they need to, yeah, start a, um, they definitely that need would to be do that and start like a Jamaican trans house. Mm-hmm. That's vibes. So yeah, they're looking for support with housing, legal services, clothes, food, <laughs> transportation, medication, and HRTs. So um, I'm gonna post a link to the GoFundMe in. Um, the bio for mm-hmm. this episode and if you can donate you know somebody can donate share tell a friend tell a friend see what y'all can do to help the folks out because i couldn't imagine having a pick up and just run with so like Jamaican. <sighs> yeah listen they're gonna get what they gotta get though i'll tell you that yeah because they are brilliant people the work that they've done like Oh, they had a house it could be like pulls off because you know, that's you know. lit <laughs> that you give it name titles pulls off, right? yeah, <laughs> stop it. Uh-uh. yeah that <laughs> yeah that would be well i wish them well and i hope that they get all the funds that they are able to get and yeah um, can start some new lives and shit like that yeah definitely good luck and well wishes to them everybody involved um that shit just sucks but you know new leaf they got here oh, safely so, so your home it's, it's trash but yeah it's but they for you anymore yeah that part well, because of one like one recently got killed in jamaica is that what yeah happened? recently like right before because or, i remember yeah. i was saying i haven't seen kim online in a while because me and her be on twitter kiki and or whatever and like here and there mm-hmm. on instagram and i'm like i haven't seen her online in a minute and i'm like where the fuck has she been? And then, like, she sends me this message, the um, mm-hmm. WhatsApp screenshot that I sent you. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I think it was, like, a day later or a couple of days later, I saw a post um, from one... Was it one of the news um, people that posted it? Either way, I saw a post about a trans woman being killed in Jamaica. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, wait a minute too close i was like okay now everything is like coming together it makes sense like wow but that is rough girl yeah um mm. they, yeah it's hard bro yo forget the lesbians now forget the lesbians <laughs> right now the lesbians ain't even got no place right now yeah. like one time now you see re- lesbians at all the big parties with the mm-hmm. niggas Gala boat, like it's it's a little different for the lesbians right now. Gays is still a thing, but them, but the trans community, yeah. yeah. Um, what was it on the? And it, it scares you too if you know people out there that's you know mm-hmm. that's who they are and stuff. It's a little scary, like. Mm-mm. Yeah, the girl that um was murdered. It was on September twelfth. Oh. And her name is Blue Ivy. That's what she yeah, goes by. Yeah, that person. All right. Yeah, so. And of course, just did so. Nobody know no one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Shit's crazy. Let me come on prayer. Let me come on some wound. <laughs> water like them want wash out everything no. speaking of wash off let me get to a bank up on social media something like i don't even be want to be a crime i'm like yo what the hell the video from sunday smutty a ball girl got shoot like is yeah, this america that was wild son that was is wild. this america what the fuck is going on here's my thing imagine so when me the jamaica me go ball girl right dog this is my thing me go ball girl me go jamaica so my thing is i can't imagine but <laughs> me got my little place yeah yeah but still, anything, anything, anywhere, it can't be anywhere. And people kind of might know what they So you don't even know what can happen. But my thing is, me go by grung. My parents go by grung. My family go by grung all the way. So it, that could happen to anybody tone. Still. Yeah. Because what you got to send me the video the other day. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So you know me. I have to go investigate okay. and see. Bruh. 
But so wait, yeah. no, wait, yo, one of the shots saw like it fly right past the video, man, and all. Yeah, for real. I was like, um, I was like, you ain't got none left in that clip. Listen, <laughs> nothing, nothing, bro. Like the intended target was fi- um was killed, but still other people were injured, and I think I think yeah, it's like four care. people That's were dead. People the fuck out of here. They don't care. <sighs> So Jamaica gun was then go then go for kill one sometime and then by the time I look at the how much of people then all them something like when they go to people's house. Yeah. Yeah. There is no regard for, for human life. life. Listen. Mm. Mm. So I might as well get everybody since you had the one. Like what? No, plus one clean up, man. Yeah. There um hmm. I saw that there was um hurricane watch for Jamaica because Hurricane Fiona is Ragtagging <laughs> was ragtagging was it Puerto Rico the other day in Dominican Republic, oh, and yeah? I'm seeing the videos. Yeah, on Instagram, people in Puerto Rico like posting the videos, and I'm like, how am I not hearing about this anywhere else? Oh, First Puerto of all, Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico is a no property. Problem. Puerto Rico, uh, probably still themselves together. Still, yeah, from yeah, uh, serious, back up. shit. <laughs> I didn't even think about them, that. Probably still there trying to get themselves together. <sighs> yeah. That's a hurricane. My thing a is, nasty bitches. Yeah. what is the purpose of being a property of the United States if they're not helping you with your shit? Like, why does it take y'all this long to? They don't get FEMA. No, no, no. Here we I are just in here. Ask us the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> well, ask us the same thing. Jaja gave us some money the other day for people that want our food stamps, so they trying to. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, like everybody on a whole. Not yeah. if, like you already needed help, so I'm gonna give you a little bit more help. I'm talking about everybody. Does Flint have clean water yet? Oh, shit, <laughs> nigga, not Flint. I don't even know. I don't even know, nah. Because the last time I checked, they didn't. Um, ended up in Flint. I'm fucking because Flint. we talking about bullshit <laughs> that's going on in America, and it's oh, just America being how it is. And, yeah, yeah, like. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I just burn this whole shit down. No, <laughs> not exactly. Not exactly. Let's think about just that. throw some salt on it and just, not you know. Make a, make a plan, nigga, first. You over here talking about just light this bitch on fire. What if this bitch got on fire right now? Nigga, let me in mind get the fire. It's time to go. It's time to go. I'm talking about the world. I'm not talking about just this country. Oh, okay, once again. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> like mm mm. Ridiculousness all the Man, way around. It's, um it's it's not even that. It's like everybody I think everybody's just different, yo. Over the like everything yeah. that's happened the past couple years, like mm-hmm. everything's just different. Everybody's different. People have different temperament. People be just yeah. at the drop of a hat, ready to go off and snap. Yeah, everybody's been tweaked. So. Yeah, I think everything is quote unquote getting back to normal now. And ain't no normal no more. Ain't no that's normal. What I said. Ain't no normal quote, no more. Quote, None. Quote exist. unquote, and people don't know how to maneuver now because of you know the extensive restrictions that we were under before, um, the places that were under extensive restrictions, anyways, <laughs> uh, as far as like curfews and like you know places you can and can't go, etc. Um, gatherings, and now it's like, oh, it's a free for all. Hmm, what can we do? Like, what I'm saying, the devil find play for idle hands, so people just out here just. America doing whatever to tag with people mm-hmm. very so, much so and but, i saw them um start doing all type of fuckery when it yeah means. yeah but mm. Mm. but we tell everybody every week to take care of themselves <laughs> not nah, for real like i'm i haven't been saying it but i'm sure everybody understands the be safe thing summer we made it through summer mm-hmm. yeah right Oh now shit! It's fall. fall. It's fall, y'all. Fall. Y'all grab y'all flannels and y'all tims and all that. Oh my goodness! And, um, yeah, girl, it's the Halloween time the coming. Tims. Thanksgiving is coming. Yes. Yes. We're there. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, damn. I really didn't realize it's what date it is. It's definitely officially fall. Like yeah, your, your birthday passed. My birthday yes. passed. Yes. They birthday passed. So mm-hmm. where are we? It's <laughs> but a like, dub. That's the lineup right there. If you literally if you remember it, like it's done. Damn. Oh, yeah. my, I, I got my hot chocolate. Ready? First of all, go. first of all, 
I don't know what the fuck is going on with the weather here because last um, week or whatever, it was a little nip nip. It was a little nip, and I was excited. I done turned off the AC. I got the windows open, the the patio door wide open, screen in place. Nigga, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Walk around the apartment with some socks on and shit. Ready. The past few days has been hot. Yeah, bad. My AC is on right now. I am hot, pissed. Bad, like 93, <laughs> like, 94. Yeah, like, it, they did say that it was going to be a quick heat wave to come through real quick, and then it was going to drop again, like, next week. It needs to go because I'm minding my business just now and it just start teared on rain. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Right like, not right now, but it like right before we started recording, when I say it was oh. pouring, like just out of nowhere, nothing. light lock off and everything, like shit kick out. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, but, yeah. I was like, where the fuck Oops. did this come from? Oops. But <laughs> I'm glad I listen. I started crafting because I wanted to get. Oh, y'all. If y'all listen to this before Sunday, I'm doing vendor shit on Sunday. Come buy some shit. If you're in Atlanta, Atlanta Utility Works, September, what is it, 25th? 1 to 6 p.m. Yeah. But I was crafting because I was trying to get some, like, extra stuff. Cause, Big promo. Um, People are saying that I'm going to sell everything out and I don't want to sit there with an empty table. And I'm like, yay. Mm-hmm. Um, Sure. So... In preparation of, just in case, I'm making, like, extra crafts to, like, put out more stuff once stuff sells. Mm -hmm. So I was crafting yesterday, and I was supposed to be crafting today, but it's a good thing I didn't sit out there because I'd have been minding my business and then just, whoops, what's up? No? Yeah, Mm -hmm. it would have been. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, but I am, listen, I need this weather to be. You to change, but you got your boots ready and shit. I haven't haven't changed out my shoes yet. I have not. But, you know, uh, I'm waiting I'm waiting. I bet. Oh, when I, itch. Hmm. Go ahead. I what? Was like, I no, I wasn't going to say nothing. I was about the boots. And then I was thinking about um Halloween and the shit. You see that Hocus Pocus 2 is coming. Oh, yes. I did see the Wednesday thing also. I want to know when that's happening. Did but you know Hocus, that's supposed to come out again? I did I see don't that. Know. That kind of dope looking. Yeah, but definitely waiting for Hocus Pocus because WTF? Like, Not WTF, friend. Because like, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jam. I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, when is this supposed to come out? It just says first episode date 2022. Really? Wednesday? Like that's it? When is the actual date? In Burton, right? I believe so. I think that's. I love his work. Do you? I love his work. His little like. Him and who's the next one? Um, well, no, Quentin Tarantino. He, he his should be gory, but um, Tim Burton. He's the one that did Sweeney Todd, also, right? Correct. Yeah. All of them shits. Mm-hmm. Oh what? shit! What? It's supposed to be out already. I ain't see that, so that's a lie. That's what I'm saying because I was just on Netflix two seconds ago. It's a scam. It says August 30, 2022. Or maybe that's when this article was written. Hold up. Fuck all that. You know what's back? Hmm. Abbott. Oh. I still haven't watched that. Oh, you know what I did watch? P-Valley. Finally. Oh, talk to the people. All of it. I've watched all of it. Give me your full... Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it, who plan on seeing it, and y'all are late like me. Um, Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, Great. Um, season two stressed me the fuck out. Like, what the fuck? Like, that was a lot. Like, <laughs> nigga. Like, I get trying to like stick with the times and be relatable to what's going on in the real world, but Jesus Lord, like a strip club drive through. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit there. Wow. I'm glad they got Autumn Night up out of there. Whatever, girl. Bye. Um, I agree. Yeah. I feel like there's gonna be a season three. Because there's so many unanswered questions, like, definitely, what's going on with what's her name? Terica is that her name? Mercedes' daughter? Like, what's going uh-huh. on with them? Uh, because she's gonna get her because what's her name going to rehab? Like that, that whole little cluster, that little portion there, that's a lot. What part? Um, like, Mercedes um, and her mom and everything. Yeah, not even her mom necessarily, because that that bitch there, hmm, mm-hmm. the devil. Um, what's the girl name that's taking care of Terica? Her that shell. The other lady. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the fact that like she's taking care of her husband's 
love child or whatever mm-hmm. that okay shout out to you but at the same time like it seems a lot like you're doing this out of guilt mm-hmm. like whether this man on his deathbed said don't give her to mercedes or whatever the case is like if you're looking in this child's face every day and you feel animosity towards this child because of how she came to be like baby that's not on that child like wow you have money that she that's can go to private school yeah but it's like day. her actual mother wants her mm-hmm. people so do it's it like every day. same shit though oh that shit there that i was like that storyline is wild like like i understand okay you care about the, you've grown to care about her etc you know you want the best for her you don't want her living with a stripper but listen i want you to know I would have killed that hoe. <laughs> What's her name? Pastor Woodbine. Um, After she took all that money, the mom. But yeah, but yeah, ba- she gonna open up a church, bitch. Yeah, you lucky. All you got was your ass beat. Like, excuse me, she saved up that money for how many years? And you just said the Lord came and talked to me and said I was supposed to, you know, open up a church because you realized how misogynistic the church that is, and you were never gonna get your chance to preach at the church that you were at. That man realized that you were idolizing him in some kind of way, took advantage of it, and you realized it at the end of the day when you got looked over. Like, ma'am. And then talking down on your daughter. Very messy. Because she's a stripper, but the money that she was saving to not be a stripper anymore, you stole. Like, I can't. (laughs) I just, you know, it was a lot. Um, who's your favorite character? Oh, I have mixed feelings. I have like I have like I have like a love hate relationship with a good amount of them because like I kind of love Lil Murda a little bit, a little bit. My man, because like he's trying, you know what I'm saying? Like he's coming to grips with his sexuality and all this stuff, and like mm-hmm. oh, first of all. Rewind back to that. Old boy who offed himself in a car, like. T. That was a lot. <laughs> I was like. You... Was it like trigger warning a lot is what you mean? Yes. And also like, yeah. Because it's just like, that was a moment. Like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, this nigga's like, I can't see the light no more. And I'm like, damn, dog. Like. They don't teach people how to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that shit had me, like, fuck. Like, seeing your friend, your lover, whoever, like, kill themselves is one thing. But, like, the feeling that he had to have been going through, like, he'd been carrying that shit with him. And Mm -hmm. you can tell, like, when you go back and you see how, like, he's been upset. And then, like, they give you, like, his backstory and everything. And it's like, fuck. Like, nobody helped this nigga along the way. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, damn, dog. Like... And the one person that's trying to help him now, it's, like, too late because he feels like he's lost at this point. There's no saving him. So it's like, damn, like, that shit was just, whew. So now that you mm. watched it, right, and everything, mm-hmm. like, um, one out of ten, one to ten, I mean. Oops. It's 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 up there. Um, I hate one to ten things because what's a ten? Like, what's actually okay, a ten? What did I just ask you? One to ten. I don't know why you tell me what you hate. That's not what I asked you. Because I never know how to grade shit on a scale of one to ten. I um, do I guess I'll give it like an eight. It was just extra. Season two was just real, real extra. Um, I think Diamond might be my favorite. I want to know what the fuck is going to happen with him. I yeah, no. I liked him a lot. I'm glad that was your favorite storyline because it's probably my least favorite storyline. Like, well, just the, like... This whole thing I don't give a fuck about, bro. It was weird. I need need more of Uncle Clifford and... Yeah, Uncle Clifford definitely was given life. Give me all of that. Yeah, I'm glad they both got their shit together because they were being mm-hmm. annoying as fuck, both of them. Fucking, what's her name? I'm glad you watched it finally. Now Miss Mississippi? References and shit. And what's then... that whole name? Keyshawn? Her and her white man? Piss me off. Like, as girl. As you... Nope, you can stop right there. Let's just stop right there. <laughs> Let's just stop right there. It don't do nothing but make you mad. So let's just stop. Girl. Right like, oh. Just, right just cut it. 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 Cut
cut it. Mm. Don't, don't. Can we briefly? Her daddy though. Her daddy. dad. Who's Keyshawn's daddy and her stepsister? I because suppose. no, because there is a scene when it was like high school prom night. And he was like real cuddled up with the older sister. Like, and you oh, can okay. see on her face that she I was like know. real uncomfortable. No, and I was friend. like, uh-uh, friend, you done gone too far. Pull it up. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You done went too far, too far, too far. I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Mm. Yeah, because it's fresh know. for me. That's why you seen it how long ago. So, yeah. But that was. Mm-mm. Nope. Yeah, she. Welcome that whole shit pissed Valley me Fan off. Club. Girl, just stress me right out. <laughs> mm-hmm. What else is going on? What's tea? In the Anything world. You wanted to tell the people them? Nothing, just that I'm doing a vendor thing. I ain't got nothing else going on, you know? Chilling out right. here. But well, remind them where it's at, too. Um, Atlanta Utility Works. It's literally like an old utility area. <laughs> like, um... If you look it up, it'll come up. If you just type it into Google Maps, um, if you're in Atlanta, come shop with your boy. Uh, <laughs> who? <laughs> look, look. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel you. It's that kind of day. I gotcha. Yeah, I am. Um, hmm. This should be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be dope. You're gonna do well. It's gonna be amazing. Everything gonna sell out. It's gonna be. Dope. Yes. And then you're going to keep going and going and going and going. Yeah, it's lit. That's it. My mama is so funny because <laughs> I be updating her on shit like with that because she follows my the Instagram page for the crafts. So like when mm-hmm. the um the tablecloth came in, um, I had sent you and her the thing. She's like, oh my, like when I told you, she sent me a little paragraph. I was like, ma'am, I'm about to start crying. Like, can you stop? Like, how oh, sweet. <laughs> She was like, this is so awesome. When it looks great. I was like. <laughs> when you big up your children, when they out here doing they, you know, they crafts and they dreams. Mm-hmm. We love that. We love that. She going to send me something that I should try to do. Like I should try to make it. I was like, look at you. Huh. That's cute. Very, That's <laughs> very. I was like, this is real interesting. Um, Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, whoa. But. That's, yeah. I'm trying to think what else is going on in the world. I don't know. What's happening in the last week? Slow. The world been a little slow. Yeah, it's been a little dry this it's past It's been a little week. slow. Everything, that's why everything kind of seemed like it's in a loop right mm-hmm. now. Because it's been, like, so slow. Nothing really. Listen, it could be, it could stay just like it is right now. Yeah. <laughs> or the crime could go down. Yes. <laughs> but it can stay just like it is. Because I don't want it to start speeding up. It's about to become Mm-mm. winter. It's going to get dark. Mm-hmm. People start, you know what I'm saying? Dark corners, getting shifty. Uh-uh. Yeah. Y'all should meditate. Like, for real. Like, find a moment. Sit down. Lay down. Stand up. Whatever it is. And just think about your breathing. Ten minutes. Just. Why? Just to reset yourself, like, because I feel like a lot of us are always, like, constantly on go. Like, we wake up and we just start moving. And we go and we go and we go and we go until, like, we fall asleep. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't plan to go to sleep anymore. It's kind of like, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to lay down, but I'm going to do this until I fall asleep type of thing. Instead of, like, making the time to, like, put yourself at rest and relax and then go to sleep. Oh, until you meet me. Because well, that's you. I know I'm you. What I'm going to do is take me a nap. <laughs> Listen, I plan for my naps nicely. Like, I don't play that. Schedule the time special. Like, this is nap time. And, you know, you got to have somebody that's with you that understands that you are serious about your naps. Because, girl, I will fight. <laughs> and that's, listen, I'm like, oh, it's nap time. Yes. Love you. See you later. But mm-hmm. but and you are and also. And come together and I'll be grinning. <laughs> yes. Because. Y'all don't know how to rest. <laughs> Not Spirit coming. Rest. Y'all niggas don't know how to do that. But I got y'all. Coming together with the pillow. <laughs> yeah, we come together. Oh. Listen. Oh, my goodness. It's like I hear the bed sing sometimes. I move the sheet and I'm about to get in it. It's just like, it's coming. Come, come. I'm just like, girl, I see you. Come on. Yeah, but you are baby Gandhi. So, I mean, 
it makes sense that you are one with rest and peace. But Girl, a lot listen, of these people slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Yeah. I know I have my moments where I'm guilty of that. So I've definitely been making a conscious effort to sit the fuck down sometimes because mm. it is necessary. You I you literally feel the difference after you have truly rested. Not sitting down watching TV, like actually sitting and mm-hmm. just doing nothing just exist but people are like such trained lab rats though it's Mm -hmm. like if you're not doing something you feel like something is wrong or whatever Mm -hmm. my bitch i'm gonna rest because what the hell yeah i have oh you you always sleep well guess what i feel great i feel great i got a good nap i'm not arguing with nobody i ain't beefing with nobody none of that shit like Mm -hmm. i don't see the problem yeah so just you know little tidbit make sure y'all rest meditate etc and it's like want to do drink your water a little pool. moisturize <laughs> yourself we're about to go full on nap season yeah. it's <laughs> full on nap season the hot chocolates and hoodies like yo it's <laughs> on and cracking i don't know what to do <laughs> You look so excited. <laughs> okay, bundle up. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't know. I ain't got. Did you want to talk about that? That the surrogacy thing? Did we? Hell, talk? nah. We not okay. doing that. That's <laughs> no, great. We not do it. Cool. That's fine with me. Um. Oh, nope. Yeah. Mm. That bishop also, you know, it's a lot no, of weird shit no, going on in the world. No. The bishop, how he like yoked up that girl in a oh, church no, in the middle man. of his service. And it's the same I'm, nigga that they held up, that they robbed. The same nigga that's a real estate agent. He just, that man is a crook. But, you know, hey, I don't know him or his business. Let me not blaspheme or, you know, yeah, damn, <laughs> talk shit about people. I don't know. I'm passing judgment. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's... I ain't got nothing else. That's all I got for now. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. All that. Um, all that, all that. Yeah, that's where we at. Listen to the show. Watch the things. And if you in Atlanta, go see mm-hmm. Pointless. Creates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sunday, September 25th. From 1 to 6 p.m. Let's go. Out there, bright yellow. I don't Let's know what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to do with my hair. Oh, Lord. Yep. Yeah. Y'all I done bought a tent. Pointless. Buy out everything. Buy out everything the way I like to buy out the bar. Do that. Listen, say that part because... <laughs> <laughs> For those of y'all who be wondering where the donations are going, that tent that y'all about to see me sitting under, there we go. The little tablecloth, there we go. The vendor spot, there we go. The funds are going to what they say that they're going to. So don't be out here like, oh, you want to go get your nails done? Nah. Like, it's actually for what it exactly. says it's for. Not like, you know, <laughs> not one of them. Yeah, that's that's not what the point is. But, um, yeah. It's going to go great because next week, it's gonna be like, oh, let me tell you how it went. It oh went my crazy. goodness! Ah, 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 ah. So, but I'm honestly not even like trying to think about that portion of it. I'm thinking more so of like the setup and like the physical structure of everything. I'm not even like I haven't allowed myself to go that far yet. So, don't allow yourself to even start trying to go that far. It's just positive. Make sure you meditate nigga and you know all of that and don't be you know don't be out here acting scary okay don't yeah. be out here acting scary ah shit okay anyway y'all go link y'all go link pointless all right check out the website pointlesscreates.com um pointlesstalks.com all of that um but yeah just like everything else every other week Whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so, so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. Peace.